Do you want this screen? Sure. Yeah. <clears throat> We've got that in the center. Uh, I do have it on the clear. Usually, because I forget the. Well, thanks. We're going to start that, and then I'm going to wheel myself out of the way so you can see Aaron. <laughs> okay. And let me uh, spotlight this for everyone. Okay. Your system at the that your yes. She just went to the uh, restroom. Oh, uh, maybe okay. she went in the other room. Okay. okay. I'm I'm here. I've got. I don't know what she needs, so picked up some paint, brushes, palette. A bunch of different size. Uh, one pack that's framed and ones that aren't framed. I didn't know what to do. Good morning, everyone. Oh. All right, does she have everything? Like, did she get moved here? Okay, thank you so much. Right. Right. Okay. Yeah, four. Uh, four. Sorry about that. That was my sister. Started. Started. Well, welcome back, everyone. Welcome back. Welcome to our new folks that are here. Um, this is our last painting for this session. Uh, we have been working together for a while. It's been fun. So. This session, a uh, particular painting, we're going to be working with water, but we're going to be going underneath the water. <laughs> we're going to be creating a undersea mm -hmm. landscape with some fish. We're going to experiment with some fish. Um, that being said, just like we always do, we're going to do it by phases. Today, we're going to do phase one, which is we're going to do a background. Um, we're going to get our, our our composition set up, our landscape, so we have a feel for what's going on, where we want to play things when we come back in next time. So right now, I already just over my canvas. If you haven't done that, that's fine. But we're going to start free gesso. We're going to use some gesso and load our canvas up. Uh, cover a whole surface with gesso. Right? And while we're getting set up, the colors we're going to be using will be phalo blue. If you don't have a phalo blue, the darkest blue you have, um, you want to use that. To a lighter cobalt blue, we're going to be using cobalt blue as well. And I have pale green. If you don't have pale green, the lighter green you have. Uh, you can always mix yellow into it to lighten it up a little bit. I have here lemon yellow I'm using as well, and burnt cyanide. 
And I have my black and my titanium white. Right now, I'm going to start with my gesso. Excuse me, Aaron, with the, um, you said phalo blue, what would be um, another, it's okay. Susan, what would be um, another color if you don't have phalo blue? Phalo blue, if you have like the closest to navy blue or a darker blue, that's fine okay. too. All right, thanks. Mm -hmm. Oh, I do, actually, I do a phalo. So I, so right now I'm using a white brush just because I'm just owing. You can use a wide brush when we come in and do the background as well. You want to cover up that surface. Yes, yep, the whole surface white, nice even flow. I'll come around to you in one second. Okay, because I noticed here and we do the same thing like you guys do as well. Like I saw a horse picture up here. Thank you for very much for letting me come in class. Good morning. This is Avis. Good morning, Avis. Welcome. How are you? Doing well. How are you? I'm good, thank you. Good. Yeah, we're just putting a little bit of gesso on our canvases right now. We're getting ready to set up for phase one, our background. Okay. Because again, when we paint, we want to start from our the back to the front. So you want to paint the background first, get your world created, then you can add things in. Okay. Yeah, you just want to cover the whole the whole point is just to make that surface just a little bit more smoother. Like this, right? Yep, nice even stroke. Just cover that whole surface up. And you wanna you wanna have your canvas uh standing Back. vertical. Um, so you can follow it. You can't do it the other way, it's just so I, well, I'm that about proportion. Whatever works for this. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Eric, for letting me come in class. Oh, you're welcome. I'm <laughs> and I'm moving up here from Delaware. Oh, oh, nice. nice. What's your name? Cindy Murray. So, Cindy just reminded me something, um, everyone. We are working, well, we're working with our canvas laid vertical. Uh, you can do it horizontal. It's up to you, but just for instruction purposes, it might be easier to follow along if you keep it vertical. Uh, if you make it wider, you'll just you can obviously adjust, but just a little easier visual, visually wise. And next week, when we do these fish, um, that's going to be fun because you're going to actually pick out your own colors of fish. I'm an artist. I'm not an oceanographer. So <laughs> I can't be specific on what fish we're going to be taking, but we're going to make some pretty fish. <laughs> we're going to make some things happen. I'll leave my picture here. Yeah, um, I think we can, I think we can store it here. Okay, I'll be back September. Yeah. Or do you want me to take it home? Sure. Yeah. You, okay. You you send the video of Aaron's work, right? Yeah. So what'll happen is Aaron comes back next week and then he's done, so he okay. won't be back right away. Okay. To finish this painting. All right. So she I'll just take it with me. Take then. it with you, yeah. and then John will. Yeah, we'll get your email address or your sister's okay. email address and okay. we'll send you a link to the video. 
Okay. And one day um I was watching how to do the divorce. So I'm gonna start down here this time. Usually we start at the top. We're gonna start about about three quarters down. I'm gonna start with the dark phthalo blue. And I'm just gonna make me a little horizon line here. Now we, we're gonna start from dark and we're gonna fade up to light as we go up. So we're starting off with our phalo blue or dark blue that you have. If we want to start getting that working that on our canvas. And it doesn't have to go straight across. As you can see, I kind of went on a little angle. It doesn't have to be straight. Because we're underwater right now. So things are going to be a little off. And while, while this paint is still wet, I'm going to start, literally start mixing on my canvas. I'm going to load my brush up without even mixing it with my lighter cobalt blue. <clears throat> and start adding that into my dark blue. I'm gonna make this this background pretty dark down here. So when we put pop these fish in, they're really gonna pop and show up to it. You want to keep your brush moist too. Every once in a while, stick your brush in the water. Make sure that whole brush is moist so that paint flows. Just going to let these colors, you're going to mix literally right on your canvas. Let these colors play and dance around. Okay. Well, here he is. I like, um, yep. I need help. You're all right. You, you got to stay okay. where I'll, I'll come give me one second. Okay. Let me just get this up. Guys, I'm here to see, and then I'll come around. I'm sorry. No, no problem. I started down the bottom. Is that going to be okay? Started all the way at the bottom. Yeah, the bottom. yeah the bottom. that's fine. Just don't, just don't work on that anymore. You just want to come about right here, about okay. quarter way, and start working your way up. Now, as again, as I go up, I'm using more and more of my lighter blue. Okay. Hmm. You'll start to see the contrast changing as you go up. Good. That's what that's our goal right here. Did you do all the way up, sir? Right. No, not all the way up. Just just go up about halfway until until I Go to the next color. Okay. All the way around. All the way up there. Stay down here. Okay. Okay. Make it more of a, like, see how dark it is? Mm -hmm. You got to make it. This is your draft. There's this place probably pretty well. Don't do any more up. Yeah, do right, right. here. Right, right, right along here. here. Right. 
straight into the section where my thing So now, I'm about a little bit halfway up. I'm going to start bringing in my green, mixing it into my lighter blue cobalt. And, if, and I have not changed my brush. I'm just adding it in as I go up. <coughs> You'll start to see that sea green coming in. Where do you want to put the green at, sir? Like two yards? Two, 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 um, want to come first, first clean off the plate. Okay. Put the towel. Right now, you really light up there, and then paint. Put the mat back into the bottom. Okay. Sorry. Thank you. Oh, it's gonna go with it's gonna go dark blue, a lighter blue, a little bit of green here, and then we're gonna come in with this blue yellow. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Now we're gonna add yellow, just start lightening this up a little bit. Fine. Take your time. We, this is, this background is really the, the hardest, the longest phase we got to this. This won't go anywhere. Where should I put the green at? Green goes about midway in the middle okay. of the blue. But remember, you want to work, get that bottom darker first. Okay. You're going you to lose your, your, con gotta get your contrast. Lose your heavy dark. All right, put more of that in there. Add dark, 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 dark blue. And work down. Yeah, that's going to get darker than that. You're all your colors. Nope. Don't touch it. Right to here. Between here and here. See that? Mm -hmm. Stay in there and just add more and more of the blue. Oh, it's like this. Right. This is nope. the first time. This is the first time I can't yeah. do that. No problem. Uh, mm -hmm. Get it. your dark blue. And that thing in this piece. Right. In there. And it's right. real dark. So you can't right here. Start right there. Right there. Right. See how dark that is? That's what you're talking about. Okay. Get your more blue. You can just get more blue in. Like this. Mm -hmm. right. You want his? You want your picture to look like Karen? Don't we all? Add <laughs> <laughs> things. Like this, we're like. Where are you putting all these paintings? There's no. Like, I have no idea. <laughs> Mine in the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> I still got one. <laughs> um, back and forth there. So this is all ocean, right? This is all ocean. Okay. Yeah, we're underwater right now, so I'm going back I see where we're going. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> going back now. I'm adding blue back into it. Okay. Yeah. Right. No, you're just fine. Just keep going. Right up here. Um, I want this light to show. I want that to reflect as the surface, light coming from the surface. I'm kind of staying away from this right now. 
So I'm really using the water on my brush and the access paint, and I'm just pulling it. I'm using all this access paint, and I'm just pulling it up. Like layers. Okay. You see the blue, the green, mm -hmm. you feel his painting? Blue on the bottom. Right. And right. there's green. Right. Yeah, yellow. right. To make sure you, yeah. Yep. Is that the right place there, honey? Sure. Right here. You just you have a lot of blue, so that you need to clean your brush a little bit and get the mm -hmm. blue off. You don't have to. I hope I'm saying that. Excellent. Thanks so much. Now, did you add some white in there in the middle, or I did not. That's okay. just gesso I picked up from you know, okay. just this pretty okay. layer okay. of that gesso we put down. Got it. So I'll come a little closer, real fast, so you got the. What's going on here? So again, I started at the bottom with the darker uh, phalo blue, and I worked my way up with the lighter cobalt blues. Worked my green in on my third layer. Brought a tad bit of yellow in just to lighten it up. So I'm staying away from this top because I want this to really be our surface up here for our surface light. Okay, it's coming along. So just, you got plenty. Don't, don't add any more green. Don't add any more green. You got plenty. Okay, you want to you put that access green on your paint blanket in your palette. Okay. So what's going to happen? You're going to have a totally green water. Mm. Just coming back in. Let my brush flow. I'm, I'm constantly moving this brush. Just to kind of put everything together back and forth. Now I want to come up here, put just a little bit of color. I'm going to start off with yellow. I want this to be the brightest point of the painting right now. Put the yellow up top here. Right up at the top. At the very, very top. So. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some white on that because I really want that to be more bright. Yeah, I do. I still use the same um, brush. Yes. In this process, you don't have to wash your brush. Okay. Just the colors to kind of mix on your canvas. In this case, it's a good thing. Mine is turning yellow and green. Fine. Keep on mixing. Don't let your brush stop. Keep on mixing and letting it flow in. You know, it'll start to happen for you. That I'm using my white and I'm coming up here and making this really bright. Mm -hmm. What I'm going to do is from the 
right in my brush. I'm gonna start from here. I'm just gonna come down and make some rays. Lightly touching the canvas. I'm very light right now. Yeah. One second, I'm gonna come around. Yes, thank you. Very light. Mm -hmm. Take your time to keep on working your way up. I like that. Yeah. You have a lot of paint going on. You have a very wet surface. So after you get done covering everything, it's dry your your brush pretty well. Thank you. I'm sorry. No, you're okay. Mm -hmm. Cover the whole thing. Oh, up okay. here. All the way up top. No, 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 you don't need no paint. Got no paint on it. You can just pull it from the bottom and pull oh, it up. Oh, right there. You've got a lot of paint. Okay. All the way up. You want to cover the whole thing. Oh, yeah. Oh, pretty. Oh, pretty. Thank you. Oh, you. Thank 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 you. <laughs> well, right now, I am pretty happy with my background here. <laughs> <laughs> Again, all I did was come up, I added some white, and I light gently swiped down. That's how I created those sun rays peeking through that water. Now, next week, when we do come back, if you have like a small lid, depending on the size of your canvas, mm -hmm. uh, or a coin, because what we're going to do is we're going to create bubbles out of these. Mm. Oh, cool. Okay. Bubbles, put some fish in. Yeah. Uh, Coral, some stuff like that. We're gonna um right now we're gonna fill this blank, this bottom in with sand. So we're going to go with our burnt sienna. Our yellow and our white. Happy All right, so what we got here is I did so. Oh, you didn't need them first time. You did. Okay. Um, again, too much paint. Don't want to have to. 
Okay, go ahead and try to paint the interior of the floor. Sorry, so we're going to take our brush and we're going to just back and forth to straight up cover all of this. Before you do your, your your ray of light, you want to make sure you fill in all your, your crevices with paint. Because if you got a little bit of white sticking out, it's not really going to make that, that ray of light pop. Um, and you have those negative gap spaces in there. So you can always paint right over everything. Paint, start over. Dark blue, the lighter blue, pull some green in the middle. Come back. Main thing is you want to go from darker to lighter up top. And then you can always bring that raise down with the with the white at the end. So right now I'm gonna use a little bit of Dark cyan and flat. But um, get my sand down here. Right. That's going to go darker to lighter. Sand. I'm going to start dark with burnt sienna and black. The opposite of what I did up top. I'm going to go from start from top dark to lighter. And you're going to see how, how and why this is going to work. Black, darken this up over here. Now I'm going to come in with yellow and white down here. Oh, I should have done this. The black is going to go right under that dark blue. Yeah. And the black is going to fade into the burnt sienna. Wait, it'll stay there. I'm not sure. Can I still use my same brush, though? Yes. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah, I'm using a wide, flat brush. Mm -hmm. And again, that's just because I'm working on a 20 by 16 canvas right now. So I got to speed myself up a little bit so I don't dry out. <clears throat> oh, I suppose we all the way down here. 
And I'm just constantly moving yeah. my brush and I'm just mixing this together down here. Almost got my surface covered. And my, and my tone is not even. So as I come closer, you can see I have some shadow parts where I just put in a little black in there just to make it look like it's dense in the, in the ground, in the sand. I'm going to come in and add some white as well. Mm -hmm. I'm just trying to get some colors, but same thing as you have your top darker with the black. See how I mix that black into the brown? So, so when we come in with the white, it's really going to make it look sandy. Get that white. See, like the gold chain. Yeah, so you don't need any more black. Um, you can clean your brush out. So I'm coming in with a little bit of white now on my brush. Put some spots here and I'm going to lightly just feather this white in. Patting this, this white in. Now I really got some depth and crevices in my sand down here. These white highlights and dark spots. So I got my seafloor now. <laughs> So now I'm going to use a little bit more black. Take a smaller detail brush because now I'm, I'm, I really want to concentrate on making these shadows here. So I'm going to start on my corners. I'm going to start on my corners. Okay. And I'm going to come and make a horizon line. And I'm really going to put in that black to emphasize that split of the landscape. A straight line? Straight line and then fade it into the brown to make it extra dark. Yeah, do I still use the same brush set? Uh, you have a, uh, yeah, you can go with the smaller flat brush right here. Yeah. This one, right? Yes. No, no, not that one. The big one. Right. So are you the right? Do I use brown? Brown. Yeah. Well, yeah. Okay. Brown neck. Yeah. You won't need a lot of brown. Really, um, a lot of pigment on this, so 
just, you just need a little bit of brown. Start. I would start right at the bottom and bring it up into the black. Mm -hmm. No, 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 no. Don't make it separate. Put it right. Right. separate. Kind of. Yeah. Yeah. Take that and start very bottom. Working on my sand, a landscape here, my sea floor. But then at this point, um, can't really move too much farther. I really want you to take your time and cover the surface and get your your pigment in pretty thick there. So when we come in, this is nice and dry, and we can start adding things in and finish this guy up next time around. Um, but basically, I'm still coming in here and I'm just layering this in really good. I will come a little closer one more time. Not too close. See how you have the from the dark to the light spots. Yeah. Okay. And we can come in and next week add some corals and some nice caves and stuff like that in here and make it real, look real interesting for our fish. Again, I'm not an oceanographer, but we'll make some pretty fish. <laughs> yeah. Clownfish. I do know how to make them. Let's talk about the clown. Uh, we'll do some we'll do a clown fish. Yeah, the bastard. Get extra points in there. Right. So, so whatever colors you want to use for your fish next week, uh please by all means let's 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 uh experiment. Let's uh experiment with some colors. Remember you want bright. Um, think bright, pretty, oceanery, painterly for fish. And like I said, we'll come in and we'll throw some caves and coral and some cool stuff in the background next week. Um, but that is as far as we can go today, as far as uh, phase wise. So this one is done for today. See you guys next time. It's been a pleasure as always. Any questions anybody yeah. have before we get out of here? So your horizon, where you put that, because it seems on, one, like one second, one second. Oh, excuse me, Aaron. It seems like you have you have hi. It's Susan. You have some of the murkiness kind of of the sand going up into the blue. So mm -hmm. when you did your horizon, is your horizon even a little bit below some of that murkiness? On say, if I'm facing your canvas on the right, right here. Yes. Yeah, so is it the horizon right below that that you did, or, or where did you put your horizon on that side? Um, it's, uh, it's just on an angle. So it's okay. on a small, 
pitch to the right. Okay. Um, and you went. There you did go. You go so all you the can way. Hold it level now, so you can see the pitch better. You went all the way across. Yeah, all the way across. Okay. All right. And then I just. You can really separate it when you bring in the black on the bottom. I see. Okay. Great. Okay. Thank you. You're yeah. welcome. Harley, you had a question? I don't have the. But I'm, I'm sure I can find So I'm just, again, I'm feathering this in. I'm just letting this really come together here down in my fan area. On the fan floor. Is that yellow? This is the yellow blended okay. with white. White. Yeah. So should I put more yellow in mine first? Uh, yeah. yeah. I'm okay. So we're just going to wash this brush out really good. Yeah, you want to do anywhere that paint. Okay. So that can just go straight with white. Okay. Uh, the chair's not around yet, so I don't have anything. Uh, but we'll try to get something out by email to everyone today. Oh, you have white. Here it is right here. Okay. We're going to check you guys out now okay. and we'll see you next week. All right. We'll, thank we'll, you, uh, I'll also put this, uh, send the link out for the video for this. All right. That's oh, great. So much. Thanks so much. Take okay. Care. Take care, everyone. Have a good week. You, you too. too. Take care. Bye-bye. Right. Getting better.